We're about to jump on the road with Jetstar to show you our favourite places in Tassie. We will be showing you the best Tassie has to offer on a four-day roadie from Launceston to Hobart. We've just flown into Launceston, the second biggest city in Tasmania. We're big brunch goers and we got an awesome recommendation for this place, Sweet Brew, to head in for some brekkie. We're so excited to be here. We've heard so many great things. It's the doorstep to the Tamar Valley and home to some great foodie destinations. If you're in Hillwood, make sure to stop by Hillwood Berry Farm. It's the only place in this area that does all four berries and these strawberries are in harvest at the moment. They are so fresh. <laughs> We're now travelling to the northeast of Tassie to see what the Tamar Valley has to offer. It's about a 30 minute drive from Launceston. You can't visit the valley and not try out a couple of wineries. This region is most known for their sparklings and chardonnays. And now just 15 minutes away we've stopped in at Clover Hill Wine. It's day two and we have to stop by one of Nick's old favourites. So we just got into Devonport, my hometown. The first thing I did was take Sarah to where I, Mum used to take me for a hot chocolate when I was a kid. What do you reckon? That's so good. Devonport's a busy coastal town. It's also close to some of the state's best natural landmarks such as Cradle Mountain and Mercy River. Now, apparently the best gin in Tasmania is made right here in Devonport. Go inside. Now we're making our way south, about an hour's drive to Cradle Mountain. So we've just arrived in Cradle Mountain. This is one of my favourite parts of Tasmania. Now on the way in, we saw so much wildlife, heaps of wombats, it was amazing. Now the best thing about Cradle Mountain is you can come any time of the year. It's day three, we're driving across state to see the iconic East Coast, one of Australia's amazing natural wonders. Just stopped off at the Bay of Fires and look how incredible the orange colour is on these rocks. Be sure to give yourself plenty of time to soak it in. Next stop is Freysonet. So we were driving to Freysonet National Park and stumbled upon this gorgeous little oyster caravan. It's called Melchor Oyster Shack. It's been here for 35 years. There's an oyster farm right behind us and these are fresh oysters that have just been shucked. Tastes like the ocean. That's delicious. We just arrived at Freysonade Lodge and we're having a beautiful dinner here to experience Tassie's amazing pot views. And look at the view that we get to enjoy while we eat. It's just Un so incredible. Unbelievable. This spot is stunning. The lodge sits on the picturesque Coles Bay. We planned on hiking through the National Park to the famous Wine Glass Bay viewpoint today, but didn't make it due to bush fires. There are so many beautiful hikes and sites throughout, so make sure you do check it out. It's our last day and we're travelling down to the capital of Hobart. It's going to take about two and a half hours. So we just got to Hobart and are heading to Mona Museum this morning. Super excited. The city is known for its beautiful Victorian architecture, stunning waterfront, markets and thriving foodie scene. So we've just finished an amazing tour of Tasmania. The scenery, the food, the wine, it's all just been amazing. We hope you guys enjoyed our tour of Tassie and that you get to come down and do your own proper Tassie getaway.